Here we are doing an on-off test of seed-placed fertilizer on May 25th. In most cases, it's as easy as just flipping a switch. This was seeded into moisture, and in addition to leaving a check strip, we also made a pass where we bumped up the seed-placed fertilizer rate to 40 pounds of actual P2O5 and 18 pounds of sulfur, half of which was elemental, in the seed row. It was dry and windy following seeding, with the first rain coming about two weeks later. Remember, adding nutrients other than phosphorus in the seed row can be harmful, as this work from the University of Manitoba shows. Yield impact can be variable, but the reduced plant counts can affect management decisions throughout the year and the maturity of the crop. Assessing the plant stand on June 12th was a little bit early for plant counts, since some of the plants are still emerging following the recent rain. We do see that the high fertilizer rate has delayed emergence and will likely result in a lower plant count. Some seeds appear to be intact but have not germinated yet, and others are still trying to poke through the ground. In our zero seed placed fertilizer check strip, the plants are generally more advanced and uniform. Stay tuned as we will do some plant counts later in the season as we follow this throughout the year. Mm -hmm.